Today we're going to be breaking down the music video for Love Drunk by Dom Corleo. The director, editor, and artist will be linked in the description below if you guys want to go follow them. But quickly before we hop into this, I gotta let you guys know about my editing packs. If you guys are looking for a quick and easy way to level up your visuals while saving time, look no further. On our website, tinytapes.ca, we have drag and drop 3D effects that require no render time whatsoever, a pack that contains over 250 plus different LUTs to level up your color grading, and many, many, many more unique packs that include transitions, glow effects, and much, much more. Make sure you guys to go take a look on the website and you can get 10% off today using code I got you, but let's hop right into this. All right, guys. So first we're going to start off with this one intro scene here. Just the intro text saying Dom Corleo has this really cool wave effect. We're going to be duplicating it on this clip right here. To do this effect, we're going to right click and open it up in After Effects and we're going to write Dom Corleo, press control A, go over to our character over here and we're going to look for that font. I believe it's called Arial. Boom, just like so. So the way they actually did this is they actually tracked the video. We're going to go down right click. We're going to go down to track and stabilize track camera. You're going to have this pop up here. I recommend opening up the advanced section here and just paying attention to the average error. So the average error is above one, which is not that good. So we want to go and make that a detailed analysis. You want to have it to as close to one as possible. Basically, the higher the average error is from one, the worse the track is going to be 2.5. So that's a little bit better. We're gonna go ahead and just create a camera and see how that looks. And we're gonna add the text on here. Make sure you toggle switches and modes here if you don't see the 3D panel. Boom, as you can see, we have it here, just like that. We're gonna go onto the text and make it a 3D layer. As you can see, boom, the text is tracked just like that. We're gonna open up the text here. Go to transform, scale it up and move it down over. And then I think it needs to be brought into the Z space a little bit. So we're gonna go to the very back of position here and just bring it back. Maybe even brought forward into the Z space. Just bring it along. And you guys can also rotate it and move it around using that clip right there. And boom, already a cool look. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add those effects to it. So they added a blur to it. I'm gonna add the camera lens blur and we're gonna turn that up to something like this. And then I believe they added turbulence displace. Let's set the amount of something like 20. And then we're gonna keyframe the evolution here to go all the way to the end. And we're gonna bring that to about two rotations and see how that looks. If you want it less wiggly, you can bring this down to something like 15. Now we're gonna add universe chromatic aberration and we're gonna go over to the distortion amount. We're gonna bring it down to like 0.2, just like that. I think that has a really cool look there. And then let's go over to our tint here, drag and drop a tint on, and we're gonna map the white to the nice blue that they have here, as you guys can see, something a little bit like that. And then scrolling through the different modes here, guys, you can get certain effects with each one. If we go for something like light in here, a cool effect, and then turning down the tint. And then I recommend putting the chromatic aberration below the tint just so you still have those cool edges. And then you could even put the uh, blur below everything too. And you can even turn the blur up a little bit more if you guys want. And then we can even put the blur below everything here just to get that look. And boom, just like that, we have the intro text Moving on to the next effect, we have this night vision effect. Now you guys can actually do this in camera using a camcorder, but if you just wanna convert your regular footage into night vision, what you can do is use my night vision preset pack we have right here that we linked in the description below if you guys wanna go check it out. It has 10 different looks inside of it and just dragging and dropping them on, you guys can achieve really cool night vision effects just like that. It's super simple and easy to use. And you have really cool inverted ones as well. So we're gonna go ahead and put look nine on there. And if you do wanna go ahead and play with the Lumetri color on top of this. What you can do is you can bring the shadows up so it's not as dark and bring the blacks up just like so. And it's pretty comparable. It's a little bit different, but turning up the saturation, you can bring that green back. And yeah, that is a really quick night vision effect there, guys. All right, guys, now moving on to the next effect, we have this cool warped rotoscope effect. This is gonna be super easy to do inside of After Effects. And now, of course, to get started, we're gonna have to duplicate our file, double click on the top one and rotoscope him. So we're just gonna go ahead and quickly rotoscope Dom out. I'm not gonna take my time on this. I'm just gonna make it super quick does not have to be perfect you should know how to rotoscope by now boom just like that he's rotated out maybe i'll fix that area up and then if we go back into the composition we turn the bottom layer off boom dom's cut out we're going to the background layer now and what you want to put on it is a luma key and then we can turn the threshold up just so we have this area of the car here and then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this once more and then delete the luma key so we have three layers and then going on to the in-between luma key layer we're gonna put on turbulence displace. As you can see, we already kind of have that effect there. You can turn the amount up to something like this, you mess with the size, and then you're just gonna go ahead and move evolution. So we're gonna keyframe that at the beginning, bring it to the end and move it around like that. And then what we can also do is press S to bring up your scale, go to the end and scale it up too. And I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that evolution down. We have it at one rotation. Let's bring it down to like hundred. So it just moves a tiny bit like that. 
So that looks cool. And then to get the look that he had on it, we want to match this glowing look here and the changing of colors. What we can end up doing is going on there. We can put on HLS color and then keyframing the hue here and then going to the end. What we can do is we can move through it just like this. So if I play that through, as you can see, it's changing colors just like before. And then I also recommend that you guys throw heat wave on this. If you have universe, it doesn't really need heat wave, but it definitely adds to the effect in my opinion. Turn the blur amount up, maybe to something like 60. You can turn the heat intensity up if you really want it to be messed up like that. But the flow speed really makes it look cool. And then it just needs a glow. So whatever glow you guys want to use, you guys can use the VR glow. It comes with the programs, but I'm going to throw on the uni glow and boom. We have the exact same effect there. Pretty cool, pretty easy to do. Moving on to the next one here, guys, we have this cool thermal effect. Now, there are a couple ways you can do this. As you can see, the thermal effect is changing like every two frames. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna redo it on this clip right here, but we're gonna duplicate it twice. We're gonna be using my boy Brian's thermal pack right here. If we open it up, we have all these different thermal presets. We're gonna go ahead and throw black and green on there, for example, just like that. Super cool. If we disable that clip and we throw a different one, for example, inverted thermal, that one's also really cool. And what he ended up doing was one, two, every two frames, he would have it switch between thermals. So I'm just gonna cut every two frames right here and then delete every other one here. And you'll have a look something like this. And of course, this clip is a lot slower. You'll get an effect just like that. Pretty simple to do guys. The thermal pack will be linked in the description below as well if you guys wanna go check it out. Now moving on to the very last look here guys, we're gonna recreate this little montage thing. As you can see, it's just a video clip sideways with it duplicated around the edges a couple times. And then just the text saying love drunk here with like a flicker on it and a little bit of motion going out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this clip right here. We're gonna need to duplicate it uh, one, two, three, or there's not even clips there. So one, two, three, four times. So let's go ahead super quickly, bring the motion down, rotate, rotate to the side like they had it. And then one, two, let's go to this one here, put it on top, go to the next one, bring it down like that. Go to this one, bring it across. And then this one here, bring it across like that. And now what we can do with these is we can right click, highlight all of them and nest them. Now, once we nest them here, we can go into Lumetri Color. As you can see, they had more saturation on these clips. So we're just gonna turn it up and then maybe add a little bit more green into it like they had. Turn the contrast up. Looks cool there. They had a little bit of blur on it too around the edges here, probably like RSMB or something, um, or even motion blur. So right click, new item, adjustment layer, hit okay. Drag and drop that on here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go into effects and search transform. I'm gonna throw on my transform motion blur thing from this preset pack I have. It automatically sets the shutter angle to 360 and turns off this. So if you guys don't have that, make sure you follow that there. We're gonna go to the scale and scale it in at the beginning and then just like they did, bring it back out towards the end. So you have that zoom out just like so. And then if we wanna go ahead and add that text, you guys can go into Photoshop or you can do it in here as well. I'm just gonna show you guys super quickly how to do it in here. It's not gonna look the exact same. By pressing Control T, we can create a text layer and then pressing T on our keyboard, we can edit it. So I'm just gonna type love drunk, just like that. And then going into essential graphics here, if you guys don't have that, you can open it up through window here. We can go ahead and customize our text here, just like that. And then to get this heart here, we're gonna put the adjustment layer over everything here, duplicate that there, press T on it, and let's change it to say, and then going into motion here, we can bring it right there. And then if you guys wanna make it look like it did before, you can go ahead and add blur to it. I recommend using Gaussian blur. So we're just gonna apply it to the main one here and copy and paste it to the next one. Now we have Gaussian blur on there, we can just turn it up and then putting on chromatic aberration, you can get that look as well, but we're gonna turn it down of course to like something like two, maybe even 0.1. And then maybe put that below the Gaussian blur like that and then with the Gaussian blur. I don't know why it's looking messed up. When I have it like that, it looks normal and then it just kind of freaks out. So when you render it, it should look like this. So I wouldn't bother with that. So we're gonna highlight both of them, copy them and paste them onto this text layer here too. And see how this one looks normal when we move it. It's not gonna look like this when I render, it's just my computer's being weird right now. And that is how you do that little sequence there. If you guys wanna add a little bit of motion to them, we can just add the turbulence displace that we had before. You guys should know how to do that by now. So dragging that on. Once again, and then just keyframing the evolution, just like so, to give it a little bit of a wiggle. And that was the breakdown of Dom Corleo's new music video, Love Drunk. If you guys want to see more videos just like this, I have two banger tutorials linked above. If you guys want to go check out any of the presets or editing packs mentioned in this video, they'll be linked down below alongside all my other ones. Use code I got you to get yourself 10% off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content. Peace.